G'day folks, today we're going to take a look at the new updated version of the handler by GoPro. This was released alongside the new GoPro Hero 6 last week and uh, we'll check it out and see what's different compared to the old one. So first we'll just open it up. Okay, I'm not having good luck opening boxes this morning. What the heck is going on here? So, that's basically all that's in the box there. So the main difference right off the get-go is it now has a buckle receiver at the top instead of just a uh, the normal traditional mount. And the end, you can tell, is a lot bigger. Now when we compare it to the old one, you can see it's even a little, it's got a little bit more girth to it. It's a little taller. And I like the idea that they've included uh, the bigger end on it. I think that'll be more visible in the water if you do happen to lose it. Uh, this one, you know, when you drop your GoPro or it's floating, it bobs upside down. So this is what's sticking out of the water. And, um, you know, that's going to be obviously a lot more visible, If uh, especially if there's a chop on the water. It will uh, be easier to locate. Now, I'm wondering, too, with the size difference, if this will now be able to also carry the weight of the new GoPro Fusion that's coming out in November. I'm not sure. It didn't say on the box. I'll take another quick look at the box here in a minute, but uh, I'm wondering. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to test that right now, but um, you know, maybe the extra weight, or maybe it's able to carry extra weight now. Um, who knows though? Yeah, it doesn't really say anything about what cameras it's compatible with. It just says compatible with all GoPros. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that does mean that it will be compatible with the Fusion, uh, which will be nice because, you know, a lot of people are going to be using the Fusion in and around water. So uh, it'd be nice to have a floating grip for it as well. Now, this hand grip works a little differently than the old one. And uh, the old one, you just mount directly onto the mount there. With this one, you need to use a buckle mount, which is nice, right? Because a lot of the mounts that people are using nowadays if you're especially if you're out on a boat or something like that you know you might be using the suction cup uh a selfie stick like the old grande um you know it makes it easy to move your camera back and forth without having to fiddle around with screws so that will just plug in there like that i'm not sure which way would be best to do it but we'll do it like that for now So yeah, just like that. It's got a nice grip on it. Actually, I like it that's a little thicker. And uh, still the same kind of spongy material on there. So that gives you a nice water, uh, waterproof grip, I guess you could say. Like, you know, when you're in the water, things are slippery. But that will give you a nice, uh, nice firm grip on it. You can even tip it up like that. Holding it straight forward. So yeah, kind of interesting. I'm really uh, hoping to know whether this can float the uh, the Fusion or not. I know there are some people, some very lucky people, who already have their hands on the Fusion. Uh, maybe if they have one of these, maybe they can test it out and let us know. Comment down below if you have a Fusion and you know if this will keep it afloat or not. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it uh, useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.